guys. Thanks for tuning in. Got something special for you today. I know it's been a while, but look beside, behind me, you can see Richlands High School. We are playing a brand new course, recently installed. No T pads, no hole um, signs or anything like that, but it's a brand new course on the grounds of Richlands High School. So if you're coming to play, please check UDS for all the rules. Can't play during school hours, obviously, and during events like baseball games, soccer, uh, softball games, things like that, because the course is actually on the grounds where the softball field and baseball fields are. So be aware of that. But other than that, it's a fun little course. It's a short course. It's only nine holes. Um, but it's fun to play, so come check it out if you're ever in Richlands. Um, we're going to shoot some shots and. Uh, see what we can do and we'll talk about each hole and uh, kind of tell you our thoughts on it. Hole one. Gordon. Yep. That's what I'm saying there, yeah. 205, 210. This is hole one. From here. You can see the basket there behind the trees. Got some guardian trees in there. Three is a pretty simple little bus shot. Just toss it up there. Take a short putt. So, first throw today. Nice little flexi. It's approximately 42 degrees. Very cold, a little windy. We haven't really warmed up, so we're going to do two off one like we usually do. James got a nice little putt here, looks like. I'm trying to get Sam, so like, you can start off back here like this and then just kind of. Here in Eastern North Carolina, it's a pleasant 43 degrees. <coughs> Nicely when they're cold, man. Ooh, nothing worse when it's cold. Including this. So we're out here today with the current record holder for the little score. For one of the guys. Mr. James is tied currently with Mr. Tyler Batchelor, our local pro. Great guy. With a score of a 45. Uh, I, I miss Sammy getting his bogey. Missed putt. See James coming down his party. Going the opposite side. Let's try to get him. Should we leave? James with the bird. First putt of the day. This ain't gonna be good. My hands froze. We can edit in the second one if it goes. <laughs> Hole number two. 247. 247 feet. Pretty much straight shot. Trees on the right. Out of bounds and fence on the right hand side. You got to worry about. Swing the water and pull your left. As long as you keep it straight, you're good. Way low. Sammy going for his CTP. Now it's gonna flex. Sammy's second shot from the fence.
reflection than you expected? Just me and you were just like camera shy or something. Camera shy, that's camera it. Camera shy, it's cold. Yep, there's a uh, Arby's over there that's distracting. <laughs> <laughs> All three is a little tricky. I was not expecting, oh, I didn't know about this when I first played it. But look, there's another set of flags here beside this tree. That is a drop zone because these two trees right here with the gold in the middle is actually a triple window. So you gotta go over the gold and in between the trees down to get to the basket. James Orr is going to hit the man dude. He's going with his forehand. Gets the man dude. Missed the man dude? But he's got himself about a 50 foot close to the ground. Yeah, that's good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, right there, left wing. Sammy, what are your thoughts? Is Greg going to hit the man dude? No. The wind's going to blow him over. <laughs> Try to make the man know on the second shot. Sammy's second shot. And he still misses the band over. To the drop zone. Here's to look for the drop zone. And now we give it. Get in there. James? Uh-huh. Thumbs on that butt? Sloppy. <laughs> I think you need to leave. A little cold, but that's no excuse. Just hey, everyone you miss is something you can learn from. No need to be down on yourself. Think about it. Analyze the mistake. Try better next time. Don't carry one mistake All right, James, to the right next to hole. Hole four. Hole four. Hole four. Going down towards the road. This is the longest hole in the course at 272 feet. So 272. Going through into his road. He's got out of bounds area with the basement field in here. Some trees. Trying to put some heat on it. Ooh. Park job. About 10 feet. Sam Bowie, 
Trying to lay these up here for an easy pointer, maybe. Take bad shots, Al. Learn T bird. <laughs> this is what you deal with with James when you get a couple of you. He winds up randomly playing in the dirt and playing with trees and mushrooms and stuff. <laughs> Sambo going for his par on one of these trees. Almost. I tried to get it between the leg shot of it. From James' POV. Seems to be not as distracting. Got it. Ready. All right, Greg's gathering the distance. And I think the line is just something that goes relatively straight and fades out behind that last group of trees. to throw something like you know a mid-range buzz something with a little bit of fade at the end it's going to get you straight and fade out behind that last group down there and you should be pretty close in circle one feet. how far 157 feet 157 feet of this i do like a hallway i know it's at 170. Right, let's see what james can get Not what I was trying to drop. Yes, that worked. That's good. It's now what y'all came to see. Same thing. Just good. He hits it. That's good, Sam. A lot closer than James. Smoke James, Sam. What do you think about that? Beginner's luck. James is burning the tip. Basket messing behind these trees. Oh no. That didn't work out. <laughs> he hit the tree here. My shot, dude. Sam is burning the tip. Oh, that is a bird. First bird of the day. Here's James going for his bogey. Gonna give me his about 18, 18 feet maybe. The wind. Ooh. Man. So James, what'd you learn from that putt? Uh, <laughs> I learned that the wind is not my friend. <laughs> I putt very, I putt soft and a windy day. It's just not favorable conditions at all but still have still fun you learn all right this is like hole five 2.0 with the hallway action this is hole six and it's a very 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 sharp turn that you got to get out to that little bat that basket right there hiding behind that tree about 140 but the line is really weird. Um, and you have a lot of people throw something that's gonna curve and fade and kind of straighten out. And there is <laughs> the line of destiny that goes out a forehand out and drops 
but you have the risk of hitting the scoreboard and dropping out OB or you know hitting this stuff early dropping OB so it's a risk reward situation the wind has quieted down here for Greg on hole six <laughs> I think you're going to ace it. <laughs> I think that's just a lot of headwind. Something that's why I kind of threw a flex shot. Flex forehand. Same as out in the field. He's good. This forehand is James. See what Greg's line is looking like. One line. What line? Throw it right at the tree. Basically. Oh no! That's a good kick. All right, Greg's playing peekaboo with the basket here. <laughs> something and try to get some Anheuser Bush basket. Oh! Good run. Oh. <laughs> 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 he thought he was going to make that par and get the tee box and <laughs> he missed it from eight feet. <laughs> I'm behind a tree trying to get James to put. Sammy missed his putt. Yeah, this must be a hard putt because Sammy missed his. Nope, the game said it's pretty easy. I got over cocky on it. Hole six. Hole seven. Hole seven. <clears throat> this is the backhand. Hole seven. Backhand shot. Fade to the basket. I think the gap on the. 162. 162. Backhand. Pretty much the best play, I think. Backhand, little highs, or let it float in. But in the wind, though, I mean, we can tell a lot of our conversations today is with the wind. So you can, we're not experienced. If you're straight, you got good accuracy. Me, not so much. So I'm throwing an overstable disc out to fade close to the basket. Changes to. James, can we get an update on scores? Uh, I think you're even. I'm plus one, and Sammy's a little bit more than me. <laughs> um, I don't think it's bad. You're even on uh, plus one? Yeah. It's about two holes ago, I'm down by one to the record holder. Well, we are playing, need, need playing, eight, playing 18 holes. That thing right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight. Another nice little short hole. It's behind the building, behind that last post holding up. Pitching area, batting area. It's so 180. 180 feet. For me, it's like a little hyzer shot to flip up close to the basket. <coughs> Easy to say, tougher to do it. Greg says he's going for the same shot. <coughs> It's not bad. 
Okay, sorry, it's not class. And then I went Mr. Hubbard's class. Sanders explained to us all of his high school accomplishments. All the stuff I would be looking for. I don't know what you want. Where you live? Where you live? Let's, let's see what Sammy can do with it. Net. Hit net. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Not where you want to be, folks. I don't know what he's got going in his brain. <laughs> he's just landing on top of the net. <laughs> <laughs> I had to hike with it. <laughs> Can we get a PDJ rolling? Can we get a PDJ rolling on his chains? Uh, the official rules. I'm not going to pretend to even know. I don't know if this has ever come up in the PDJ world before. I say, technically, it hasn't hit the ground yet. Honestly, if we can boost it, if we can boost it down and get a good flip on it. <laughs> Can we get a PDJ rolling on what this boy's about to do? That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about as far as his regular throw would have been. <laughs> we'll let him have this shot for par. And there he goes for his par. <laughs> All right, this is the last live at Nine Lives Richlands High School. Shout out to John Knapp, John John, for putting this course into action. 217. John, you did an amazing job putting it together. You're an amazing young man. And I'm sure anybody that knows disc golf knows you. We're proud of you. And you got a big future in the sport. Now the line here, I don't know because of the field, if eventually this left tree will become a mando because of games and stuff, I don't know. But right now a line is forehand out to the basket or if you're more skilled, which I'm not, so I throw the forehand out, you try to throw down the gap and land pretty close to the basket. How far was it, Greg? 217. 217, but it's pretty heavy left to right wind right now. That was a thunder taker and the wind just made it way in the stable. Couldn't fight back. but it's 40 degrees and like 30 mile an hour wind, so we're gonna call it. What's that made the scores, James? Uh, I finished negative one, uh, blistering 26. <laughs> Greg with a plus one and 28. And Sammy, you're gonna have to email him personally because <laughs> he didn't want his scores out there. It was, it was higher than plus one though. Sammy, but at the end of the day, scores don't matter. We got right. out here as friends. We went, this is we our high fun. school. Scores do matter, and I suck that. <laughs> <laughs>
This is our high school where we went to back in uh, back in the day, a couple back years ago. Day, yeah. Back in 96, 97, and 98, so, baby. It's just amazing to be out here with friends doing something that we love. And That's enjoy. the year Sammy was a senior. I'm about to graduate. <laughs> I got three yeah, great little course. Thanks, John John. Good work. Uh, we enjoy it. Maybe we'll come back when it warms up and it's not so windy. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're done. Go for a record. All right, you guys take care. Thanks for watching.